So maybe that's what's going on here, but so far I just have not seen anything since lunch that Came changed anything about this trial. Florida. Back to defense attorney Tom Clegg and Anita Bonnie Greenberg, the mother of Andrea Over Snyder. Holiday, New Year's. Okay. And <laughs> without being facetious, I guess New Year's usually comes on January 1st, correct? Yes. Okay. Would you have actually spent New Year's Day in Florida, or did you come back to the Atlanta area on New Year's Day or before or after, if you recall? I don't recall exactly when we returned. Okay. And um, Rosh Hashanah, is that a Jewish holiday? Yes, sir. Do you recall in the year 2010 whether uh, Andrea and Rusty and the kids would have been in your home on that day? Or vice versa, whether you would have been in their home? Of course. Okay. And when is Rosh Hashanah typically? Uh, September. Okay. So you would have had a chance to see the two of them interact at that time, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, to your knowledge, did Andrea, in fact, go to the police on January 4th of 2011? She did. Okay. Did she do so on her own or at the invitation of the police, if you know? On her own. Okay. One moment, please. You might take as much time as you need. We're back on the record. Okay. Uh, do you know, Mrs. Greenberg, if there was much communication between Andrea and the Dunwoody police from November 24th of 2010 until January the 4th of 2011? Communication was limited. Was the, were the police contacting Andrea during that time? No. To your knowledge, were they giving her updates on the progress of the investigation? No. Okay. Um, was there a, well, never mind. Let me just, I'm going to ask you this one last question. Kind of, um, were you familiar with Andrea's wardrobe? Of course, we shopped together all the time. Okay. You know what kind of clothes she wore, right? Objection, Your Honor, relevance? It will be relevant, Your Honor. I, I'm going to give you that latitude. You're going to okay. link it up. Go ahead. Did Andrea have? A jean jacket? No. Ever seen such a garment in her possession? No. Ever see her wear such a thing? No, sir. Nothing for me. All right, any redirect? Limited? No, no, ask as many questions. Nobody's limited. Ask whatever you want to ask. Thank you, Your Honor. Did the defendant wear glasses? Andrew wore glasses in November, October, September 2010. Is that right? She did. And your daughter's a trained dancer, is that right? Yes. Have you used the phrase, or have you heard her use the phrase trained dancer before? Yes. Mr. Clay asked you about an interview that Andrea did or a conversation she had with the police on January 4th, 2011, is that right? Yes. And Mr. Clegg asked you if she voluntarily went to the police department or if she was called. Do you recall that? I believe she went on her own. I want to ask you about January 5th, 2011. Are you aware of Andrea going to the police department on January 5th, 2011? I don't recall. You don't recall going with her? I don't recall. Is it possible that you accompanied Andrea, to an interview at the Dunwoody Police Department on January 5th, 2011? Your Honor, I'm going to object to this question. It is outside the scope of any cross-examination. Uh, I'm going to over that objection. I'm going to give both sides some latitude. Ask whatever you want. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point. Is it possible, ma'am? Certainly possible. Thank you. I have no further questions. Right. Any recross? No, sir. None whatsoever. Lawyers, may uh, Dr. Greenberg may release and excuse from her subpoena. Do you want her to remain in the subpoena? Uh, she's... Free to be released from the state. Any objections? None whatsoever. All right. Dr. Greenberg, you may come down. You're free to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like you're sitting there saying that you wanted a break. Do you want a break or are you ready to keep going? Okay. <laughs>
Call the next witness. Your Honor, at this time, I'll wait for the witness to leave. Oh, you might. Yeah. You can stay in the court. Yeah, she can stay because she's been released. Yes, sir. So she can remain in the courtroom if she wishes. Your Honor, at this time, the state would tender state's exhibit number 63A and 63B. 63A is disc one of a two disc set of a deposition taken November 16, 2012, of um, Ms. Greenberg and 63B is a um, is disc two of that set. Its authenticity has been stipulated to, and based on Ms. Greenberg's testimony, um, the state would wish to play just a portion that would be a prior inconsistent statement with her testimony. Right. Is this going to be visual? But is it video and audio, or just audio? It's just it's video and audio. Yeah. All right. You can put it up on the screen. No, any objection to no, 63 no, A and no, no, no. 63 B? All right. The minute without objection. For purposes of identification, the clip um, is labeled 12 dash one. Did there come a time where Andrea told you while you were in Florida that she had received an email from Henny Newman? Yes. Please tell me about that. She said she had received an email from Henny Newman. Did she say what the content of that email was? No. Did she say if there was an attachment to that email? I don't recall. And what else did she say about having received the email from Henny Newman? I don't recall. Did she have any impression of why that email was sent? Did she express anything to you about why that email was sent from by Hemi? I don't recall. Did she say how she felt about that getting that email from Hemi? I don't recall. Thank you. If she had told you, well, did she tell you that she believed Hemi Newman had? Yeah, could you stop? Stop. stop? I'm sorry? For a second. Yes, what's the objection? I am objecting while the authenticity has certainly been stipulated to whoever is asking this question is proposing a question if this had happened, uh, whatever, and I don't think it's appropriate to introduce such a question in front of this particular jury. Response? I think the questions and answers are directly inconsistent with the witness's testimony here today, and thus they are impeaching and um, admissible as substantive evidence. All right. Mr. Clay, I understand, the, I understand the objection now, but when I asked earlier, 63 and 60, I'm sorry, 63A and 63B were admitted without objection. I think that's what I heard. Yes, sir. And, I, well, hold on for a second, let me finish. Then, therefore, I allow the state to play. Now, the court has not seen any of this, so. I asked, was there an objection? You said there was no objection. That's why I'm allowing them to play. Okay, that's fine, Judge. So I think I'm giving everyone an opportunity to make whatever objection on the record. So I, 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 no, 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 that's not, I've already, I think it's already on the record, Judge, so that's fine. Good enough, no problem. All right, you may continue. I mean, there was no objection, but it was a minute. No. Did she indicate that she was in fear of Hemi after receiving that email? I don't recall. Thank you. Was that 63A? Or that clip? 63, yes, that came from 63A. Were you also going to play something on 63B or was that? No, sir. All right. Not this All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do, this is going to be your first afternoon break, and I will, uh, with the assistance of Deputy Garrett, give you some, uh, more notepads, because I know you're waving to me, let me know you need more. So, Deputy Garrett, we're going to give them a 10-minute break, but in the interim, Deputy Garrett is going to restock the notepads so that you can have them when you come back out. So, if you need a notepad, if you don't mind, let him know. And we we got plenty. There's, I mean, we got as many as you want. But we, I want to give them to you at this break, if that is okay with you, okay? All right. This going to be 10 minutes, Deputy Garrett. All right. Back again with 11 Alive's continuing coverage of the Andrea Snyderman trial. I'm Jeff Hellinger along with the former district attorney of Houston County. That is Kelly Burke who has been with us all.